A few days after the SpaceX Starship made its second orbital launch test, NASA astronomers have just made some shocking remarks about the gigantic rocket that are sent to change everything in space business. Does NASA have any interest in the Starship? What does the success or failure of the Starship mean to NASA? In this video, I will seek to explore what NASA astronomers are saying about the Starship and all that exists between NASA and Musk's SpaceX. The bromance between America's space agency NASA and an American commercial space company SpaceX is nothing new. If you are keen on space news, you have probably heard that SpaceX is launching satellites for the U.S. military, and it is also transporting both cargo and crew to the International Space Station on behalf of NASA via the Dragon 2 capsule. But the increased interest of NASA's top officials on the next generation SpaceX Starship is a clear indication that the bond between the American Space Agency and Musk's SpaceX can only grow stronger. The second SpaceX Starship orbital launch test that was by far and wide successful caught the attention of many space experts and fans around the world. And as you would expect that the NASA chief is one of the space experts that was keenly monitoring the launch. Bill Nelson, who served as the 14th administrator of the space agency, was among the high profile persons who congratulated SpaceX via his Twitter handle saying, congrats to the teams who made progress on today's flight test. But how will they get to the Moon, Mars, and beyond? The answer lies with the SpaceX Starship. The American Space Agency, NASA, has a special interest in Starship, as it is investing up to $4 billion in the rocket system. In 2021, in 2021 alone, NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract, where the company is expected to build a human landing system for the Artemis III program. So if NASA is ever going to get to the moon, they expect to do so via this rocket. SpaceX Starship employs a powerful landing system that could be able to remain in space after its initial launch from the Earth. And eventually, it could be used for multiple trips between lunar orbit and the moon's surface. After getting to the moon, NASA will be banking on the Starship to get the first humans to Mars. The NASA astronauts are keen to have the Starship deployed to Mars before America's space rivals, Russia and China. SpaceX founder and CEO Musk is working around the clock to ensure that he takes the first person to Mars by 2029. The SpaceX Starship is expected to make the dream of traveling to Mars a reality. The journey could definitely take up to nine months. This means one could travel to Mars and back to Earth in just 273.75 days. Interestingly, for Musk to make the journey successful and luxurious, he is looking to install around 40 cabins in the payload area close to the front of the upper stage. He arguably said, you could conceivably have five or six people per cabin if you wanted to crowd people in, but I think mostly we would expect to see two or three people per cabin, and so nominally about 100 people per flight to Mars. Additionally, the payload bay would substantially accommodate storage space, common areas, and a galley. Furthermore, it will contain a shelter where people could gather to shield from solar storms, where the sun belches out harmful charged particles into space. Musk claims that the huge payload capacity could open up more possibilities for new types of robotic science missions, such as that of the magical James Webb Telescope. For instance, astronomers view the Starship's numerous trips to Mars as an opportunity of exploring outer space. For the trip to be successful, the Starship will have to be powered. How will this gigantic rocket system be powered? The Raptor 2 engine will power SpaceX's Starship rockets and huge Super Heavy boosters. Each Super Heavy booster will be propelled by 33 Raptor 2 engines, while the Starship spacecraft will be propelled by 9 Raptor 2 engines. The Raptor 2, like SpaceX's veteran Merlin engines on Falcon 9 rockets, is meant to be reusable, as are the Starship and Super Heavy spacecraft. Raptor 2 is the outcome of several years of development for SpaceX's Raptor engines. It features a more streamlined design than SpaceX's original Raptor, with fewer intricate tubing and plumbing systems. Although the relationship between Musk's SpaceX and NASA can generally be described as healthy, there is some friction. NASA scientists have begun questioning the possibilities of colonizing Mars anytime soon. 
Real obstacles lie along the way that will demand intelligence and technology that is currently unavailable. In fact, NASA's recent scientific report has poked holes on Musk's project. After all, they brag about research capabilities that puts them head and shoulders above the rest. As we speak, NASA has a number of spacecrafts roaming on the surface of Mars, such as the InSight Mars Lander, which was launched on May 5, 2018, and landed on Mars on November 26, 2018, the Perseverance rover, which was launched on July 30, 2020, and landed on Mars on February 18, 2021. These two will add on to the statistics of the previous successful vehicles sent by NASA, such as the Curiosity rover, and the old Viking 1 and Viking 2, which launched back in the 70s. In other words, whatever NASA has to say, they can account with testable facts collected by their research machinery in the Martian world. It is just incredible. Most scientists agree that there is a possibility of having human life on Mars. As such, NASA is taking the first steps of proving whether the red planet is habitable by studying its rocks. Curiosity uses its onboard laboratory to study the samples of rocks collected. On the other hand, Perseverance has a huge hand that helps it to collect rock cores for future study. It is necessary to study the rocks as they are like encyclopedias of their surroundings. The study of rocks on the surface of Mars gives a hint to the past Martian life. One such rock that NASA has studied is the Harbor Seal Rock that has a unique and curious shape. Nature is just fascinating. NASA astronauts are doing excellent studies on Mars, but all that will not amount to nothing if the SpaceX Starship will not ferry them to the Red Planet. Do you think SpaceX will ultimately make a Starship spacecraft that will take NASA astronauts to the Moon, Mars, and beyond? Why or why not? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. To this end, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for the latest space news.